Thank you for tuning in to Terry Swoop videos. On today's video, I'm going to do a Where They Now on the 1990s beautiful singer Desiree. Desiree was very popular during the 1990s. I always loved her music. Her music was so inspirational. And the song that she's mostly known for is Gotta Be. This was an international hit in 1994. It went to the top five on the Billboard charts in the U.S. and it went to number one in the U.K. charts. And it sold millions of copies and it made her an international star. I always loved this song because it's rare to see positive songs become hit songs. Most of the songs that go to number one on the charts are usually vulgar songs that have no meaning to them. But So it was nice to see a positive song with a great message to it become a hit song. And all of her songs were like this. All of her songs had positive messages to them. After selling platinum with her second album, I Ain't Moving, she released a hit single with Terrence Tripp Darby called Dedicate. And this was a duet love song. I really liked this song. It was a hit in Europe and it was also a hit in America. In 1997, Desiree appears in the movie Romeo and Juliet, which starred Leonardo DiCaprio. And she sings the song Kissing You. She also sings the song on the soundtrack. And the song was a hit. And the movie was also a hit. And then in 1998, she releases her third album called Supernatural. Supernatural is the much anticipated successor to her 1994 release, I Ain't Movin', which sold over one million copies nationwide and produced the top five pop single, You Gotta Be. As the people come up to me and say, that song was so inspiring, so encouraging, so positive, so empowering, you know. And that makes me feel good. Four years after that massive hit, the British-born singer again focuses on complex subjects and grapples with pressing issues, yet is still able to engage in light-hearted banter. Relaxing inside a four-star hotel in Beverly Hills, Desiree playfully implies that she's rooting for, of all things, the destruction of a tool most Americans take for granted. I must be the only person that hasn't been on the internet. You're not the only person. There has to be two or three out there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> While the 28-year-old entertainer admits that the internet isn't exactly her strong point, legions of fans have accessed her website and followed her rocketing career. Movie soundtracks for Romeo and Juliet, Have Plenty, Set It Off, and Clockers all feature songs performed by the songstress in the interim of recording her own CD. Desiree also toured globally with Seal and earlier this year was featured on the popular Lilith Fair Tour. With the release of Supernatural, supporters will have another chance at experiencing her catchy sounds for themselves. Take my work seriously. That's important to me. I don't see it as one big joke or... To me, making music is a very... I feel that it's my vocation. I feel that that's what I'm on this earth, in this emanation, to do, you know? But at the same time, I realize that it's important to have fun with what you're doing. You have to sometimes surrender you can't be in control over everything all of the time. And that's what this record has taught me. Desiree's third album, Supernatural, didn't sell as many copies as her previous albums. The album only peaked at 185 on the Billboard 200. But it was a hit in the UK. It peaked at 16 on the top 20 UK charts. And it sold gold. But she didn't have as much success in America after the 1990s. She released another album in 2003, and that wasn't a hit either. After the flop of her fourth album, Dream Soldier, in 2003, she walked away from the music industry. She went on hiatus. She started her own nutrient business, and her nutrient business became successful. And that's what she focused on for the next 15 years. In 2019, she released her last album called A Love Story. And today she's 52 years old. As you can see, she's still beautiful. This is the most current picture I could find of her. And she's still beautiful. And I want to see her record some more music. I love her music. I've always thought she's one of the best British R&B singers of all time. When it comes to British R&B, she's in my top three. I got Billy Ocean ranked number one. I got Sade ranked number two. And then at number three, I got Desiree. 
these are the top three British R&B singers in my personal opinion. Now, a lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate, and subscribe.